In this video, we are going to demonstrate the long stride walking test to diagnose ischiofemoral impingement syndrome. Enroll in our online course now. Link is in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Posterior hip pain remains a challenge for clinicians. The following graphic from a paper of Gomez Hoyos and colleagues in 2018 shows an overview about possible competing diagnoses. As you can see, differential diagnosis in the posterior lateral hip region is definitely not straightforward. In 1977, issue of femoral impingement, abbreviated as IFI, was first described by Johnson and still remains a disputed entity. Unlike femoral acetabular impingement that you know from the cam and pincer deformity, IFI is an extra-articular form of impingement. Toriani and colleagues in 2009 defined the syndrome as a decrease in issue of femoral space between the lateral ischium and the minor trochanter and a decreased quadratus femoris space, again between the minor trochanter and the proximal hamstring tendons. Patients often complain about long stride walking pain. The pain is felt lateral to the ischium during the toe-off or pre-swing phase of gait with the hip in terminal extension, in which position the lesser trochanter rubs the lateral border of the ischium or the semimembranosus tendon origin. Some patients also complain about radiating pain down the ipsilateral leg, which could be elicited when the sciatic nerve becomes entrapped in the ischiofemoral space. In 2016, Gomez Hoyos et al. evaluated the accuracy of the long stride walking test and found a sensitivity of 95% and a specificity of 84% to diagnose issue of femoral impingement. The gold standard they used was a combination of posterior hip pain, abnormal MRI findings, including a reduced issue of femoral space or quadratus femoris space, as well as at least 60% pain relief after decompression surgery. This is the only study so far, and it was done in a retrospective study design, which might have missed patients who did not undergo injection or surgery. Additionally, the study did not determine intra- or inter-observer reliability of this test. For all of those reasons, the clinical value of this test remains questionable for now. To perform the test, have the patient walk with longer strides. The long stride is expected to provoke impingement between the lesser trochanter and lateral ischium in terminal hip extension. Afterwards, the patient is asked to walk again with shorter strides to avoid maximal hip extension. The findings of this test are considered positive if the posterior pain is reproduced lateral to the ischium during extension with long strides, whereas pain is alleviated when walking with short strides. All right, this was our video on the long stride walking test to diagnose IFI. Thanks a lot for watching. If you would like to learn more about posterior lateral hip pain in runners, keep an eye on our upcoming running rehab course with Benoit Matthew on our website study.physiotutors.com and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.